talk about HITC Sport. Right, right. For some reason, every single last one of ye, every single dog on the street, every diabetic kitten, just, just thinks that I'm going to do a Champions League predictions video. We want the Champions League predictions for God's sake. Starting a petition for the Champions League predictions by the Irish guy. Where is the Champions League predictions? There's still time for UCL predictions. Likes we sees. Irish guy, make a video of Champions League predictions, 1920 predictions. I... Never once said I was going to do one. What are you gonna do next? Get mad at me for not giving birth to a pigeon? For not tossing off a clown in the KFC toilets? For not subscribing to all things Joe Tomlinson? I didn't promise any of these things. So, no, you know what? Let's, let's forget what the title says. No, you're not getting your Champions League predictions now, all right? Instead, let me just do a 10 minute video describing to you my favorite type of lentil soup and how to cook it. Right, step one. Cut the parsley up into small little sections and place them carefully into a tin. Step two, pour the sauce over said parsley and wait for it to simmer a little. Step three, get the carrots out of the fridge and put them into the, uh, I don't even know why I'm bothering. I'm a YouTuber. The only thing I eat for dinner are the socks on my own feet. All right, okay. Since you asked so nicely, you didn't, not one of you did, you rat bastards. I'll give you your Champions League predictions video, all right? I'll give you the group stages one. Let's crack onto it. Am I some kind of performing monkey? All right, let's take a look at group A. Considering PSG just mopped the floor with Real Madrid, with Angel Di Maria using Danny Carvajal as some sort of wet wipe, you have to tip them to top this group. Yes, they have the most expensive footballer on the planet stuck in the stands, a fella whose own bowl of spit would probably cost a tenner, but let's not forget, they have an array of world-class talents on the books and Eric Chupa Moting. But of course they do, this is a club who spills tons of oil money onto the squad every six months. What do you expect? But honestly, this is such a weird club. They are really the richest club on the face of the earth, and yet still fork out weekly wages for Eric Chupa Moting. PSG are like that homeless man who just won the lottery, and yet he still choose to comb their hair with a knife and fork. Anyway, they should have enough to top this group. Real Madrid have never really recovered from selling Ronaldo, a decision as catastrophically stupid as swiping right on Susan Boyle. Honestly, Zidane should have just stayed away. He's never going to repeat this success, especially not with an aging team. And yeah, while Eden Hazard is a top player. Let's not forget, he has form for turning into a wet paper bag whenever the going gets tough. Remember that season he scored less goals than Aaron Lennon and Scott Dan? He scored the same amount of goals as Hazelou that season. And he is the first touch of a dead elephant. All right, let's see, Galatasaray, they've made a habit out of pinching players from the Premier League. Many of them flops. John Sari is stuck in midfield. A lad who single-handedly chucked his career prospects down into a goddamn blender last season. Going from Lynx to Barcelona, to then sharing a dressing room with the likes of Cyrus Christie. Honestly, it must have been enough to make him want to tear out his own teeth in frustration. He's joined by fellow relegation buddy Ryan Babel, a fellow who probably gets hot coffee chucked at him in the street following his Istanbul Besiktas treachery. There's Mario Lamina, a fellow who was linked with Man United this summer for some weird reason. Oh, and Radamel Falcao up front, who could actually be a, a very good signing despite his age. I would imagine they have enough firepower to finish above Club Rouge, who, let's not forget, have Simon Mingle in goal. And yeah, they'll probably get Europa League. And so moving on to Group B, right. Bayern Bayern Munich have this one wrapped up. Uh, they just do. Clearly, like I don't think I need to elaborate much more. They have the best team. They swapped out the old for the youth. But don't worry, Spurs. I right? don't. Don't have a heart attack. Don't rip off your own ears and mail me the remains. I still think you'll finish second. Don't worry. Uh, then again, I don't know why you would worry even if I didn't. I mean, if you end up finishing by the Olympiacos or Red Star Belgrade, a club captained by the human dish towel that is Marco Marine, and who have Raji van la Parra on the goddamn wing, then yeah, Mauricio Pochettino should probably retire at a goddamn embarrassment. Olympiacos will finish third 100%. This is not even up for debate. If they don't, then I will personally hunt down Declan Rice and shake his hand. Group C. Right, if Man City don't win this group, I will honest to God staple my nutsack to the goddamn fridge. They'll probably win every game. What's their competition? Dynamo Zagreb, Shakhtar Donetsk, Atalanta. They could win that group with their players blindfolded and each one giving Adele a piggyback around the pitch. Sorry, City have this group sewn up, but I actually finished Shakhtar to finish second. They're a decent little outfit and according to Guardiola, their keeper is one of the best he has ever seen. Yet another insane exaggeration from a man who probably waxes lyrical about his goddamn teapot. Oh, this is the greatest teapot I have ever seen, yes? I don't know why my pep came out like Borat. But Amazon will grab, we'll take the Europa League spot. Well, Atlanta will be sent crashing out of Europe before Christmas. Group D is literally a scrap between Juventus and Atletico Madrid. Not a chance in cat's hell will either Lokomotiv Moscow or Bayer Leverkusen make it through. They must realize that themselves, surely, for the love of God. Juventus have a star-studded squad. They've already grabbed a point out in Spain. They'll top this group with Atletico following them through in second, with Lokomotiv grabbing third and Bayer Leverkusen fourth. Here's a prediction though. Kieran Trippier will score a goal in a Champions League match this season. You will see. If not, I will eat a goddamn finger. Please score a goal, Trippier. Right, I know Liverpool are European champions, but Christ above, their away form in this competition is pretty bad. Yet another away day defeat to Napoli, but they won't panic. They'll, they'll, just like, like any great team, 
They'll get, they'll regroup, they'll get back on top, probably finish first in the group, followed by the Italians before Red Bull in third, and then and then gank. It will 100% happen this way. You know what, I've never been more confident of anything in my entire life. Considering I'm a YouTuber in my mid-twenties, I, I think that's pretty obvious. If it doesn't work out this way, in the numerical order I've just stated, I will personally dedicate an entire 10 minute video doing nothing other than praising Paul McShane. And rest assured, I would rather steam grill my own face. A group F, the group of death, with top spot currently occupied by Slavia Prague. Don't get me wrong, right? Slavia are a decent little outfit. But they have about as much chance of making it through this group as I do of getting through an entire video without saying the two little words, Christ above. Barcelona will win this group. They have far too much quality not to. For Christ's sake, they can afford to leave Messi on the bench for some spotty-faced kid younger than Lord of the Rings and still score five goals. There's been a lot of talk about Inter Milan's rejuvenation under Antonio Conte this season. The rebirth of the Italian giants. Yeah. No. Like, they've made some impressive signings, but still, I... I think the likes of Lukaku and Co will be in the Europa League the other side of Christmas. So who knows? We might see him at Old Trafford this season yet. Russia Dortmund will squeak through in second. They have some of the most exciting talents in Europe. Yeah, Jadon Sancho is the real deal. And if he catches fire in Europe, not literally, that, that would hurt, then I think they can go quite fire this season. On to Group G now in what is one of the most open groups known to mankind. Honestly, any of these four teams could top the group. So of all the ones not to make stupid, blind, forfeit promises on, like eating fingers and, and praising Paul McShane, it's it, this one, alright? This would be the group to leave alone and not do anything stupid. But since I have all the logic and good sense of a polar bear on acid, bring on the stupid bold claims. One of which had me sleeping in a bin last Christmas. And unless Ed Woodward sacks Ollie before Christmas, I'll... I'll be showering in milk of all the months to find out you're lactose intolerant. From top to bottom, right? This group would be Leipzig in first, Leon second, Benfica third, and Zenit St. Petersburg fourth. If this group doesn't finish in the order I've just said, I will do a, a six hour live stream. Six hours. For your own sake, let's hope I'm right. Even I would be sick of my own voice after that. And now the final group. Can Chelsea make it out of Group H? Will Frank Lampard get another couple of wins under his belt? Will Tammy Abraham keep up the goal scoring streak? Will Carefree Lewis find a way to shove his phone even further up his nose? Stay tuned at Chelsea Football Club for the answers. Listen, right, I actually have some, I've, I've lost some players, but they still look strong, so fair play to them. I think they will top the group. But yeah, I do think Chelsea will come second. Listen, Lampard doesn't have much to work with, but he's doing a decent job so far. They need a big recovery performance in Spain for the rematch with Valencia, but I think, I, think, I think they'll do it. Lille will finish bottom of the group with Renato Sanchez spending Christmas wondering what the hell has happened to his career. Stuck in a team with a 35-year-old Jose Font and an aging Loic Remy stuck to the bench. All right, so those were the predictions for the group stage. Are you happy? Are you satisfied now? It's done. The video I never promised to make. Uh, yeah, all right, listen, there it is. If you want me to do a knockout video, um, in February, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll talk to you in a while.